Hello everyone, Lost here. Today I'm putting on my mentor hat to bless you with all the wonderful information that comes straight from my brain, and today we're talking about poise. Elden Ring uses a system referred to as passive poise, that would be this number right here. If this number is higher than the amount of poise damage a weapon does, then your opponent will not be able to stun you and you get the opportunity to smack them back in their stupid face. This is essential knowledge, since when you're fighting against another player, trading hits is bound to happen. But the question now becomes, how do I know how much poise damage each of the different weapons do? Unfortunately, the game doesn't tell you, but this is where I come in. Your very bestest friend lost my sanity. By the way, you should subscribe so that we can be best friends forever. Anyway, I tested out all of the weapon types, discovered how much poise damage each one of them does, and compiled it in a handy list for you. That being said, I only tested the poise damage of one-handed and two-handed R1 attacks. No jump attacks, rolling attacks, R2s, spells and weapon arts. Listen, I'm not a scientist. I'm simply trying to convey the very basic understanding of the system. I'm trying to impart some practical knowledge. Before we begin the actual breakdown though, I'd like to mention a few important things. It's very possible that certain special weapons might have a boost to poise damage that goes beyond its weapon type, but if I were to test every single weapon in the game, this video would consume my life. Also, just because passive poise now exists does not mean that hyper armor is a thing of the past. For the uninitiated, in Dark Souls 3, poise was tied to the weapon you used and its animation. That system still exists, but more testing is required. Poise takes 30 seconds to refresh. So if you are hit but not stunned, the game stores that poise damage for 30 seconds. Once that time has passed, you can tank another hit. The amount of poise is decided by the armor you're wearing, but there's an additional item that helps boost your poise, the bull goat talisman. This talisman does not give a flat boost, rather a percentage, so the more poise you have, the better this talisman gets. Decimal points exists, and yes, I know, I hate math too. We only see the whole number, but behind it, there's more. That's why you sometimes jump up a poise point when equipping different armor. A one-handed charge attack with a dagger stunned me even at the most poise I could possibly muster. I'm gonna lay the groundwork here by starting with the most common and basic of all weapons, the longsword. The R1 of the longsword does 50 poise damage. Currently, I have 50 poise. When I get hit, I get stunned. But when I increase my poise to 51, now I can tank a hit. When two-handing a weapon, the poise damage is increased by roughly 10%, so a longsword will now do 55 poise damage, which means that you need 56 poise to tank a hit. The weapon classes that do 50 and 55 poise damage are straight swords, katanas, curved swords, axes, fist weapons like the cestus, spears and twin blades. The twin blades are the special cousin. <laughs> That's rude. The twin blades are the special cousin of all the weapons previously mentioned. While the one-handed attack does its normal 50 poise damage, the two-handed attack consists of two hits. The first hit does 20 poise damage, the second does 35, adding to 55 poise damage. Now moving on and speeding up, Daggers and Claws do 30 poise damage one-handed and 32 poise damage two-handed. Thrust weapons and whips do 40 and 44 poise damage. Great thrust weapons do 55 and 60 poise damage. The hammers and flails do 60 and 66 poise damage. Halberds and sides do 92 and 102 poise damage, which is massive by the way. Great swords, great spears, great axes, my penis, and great curved swords does 102 and 112 poise damage. And finally, I simply, sorry microphone, I hit you there, hopefully that's not gonna be added to the recording. And finally, I simply couldn't achieve enough poise to tank any colossal weapons and war hammers. I hope this helps. Now this is all very scientific, I know I know. I said I'm not a scientist and I'm sticking to that, but this is in a controlled environment. When you're fighting against other players, and especially if you're an invader, you'll probably get hit by tons of different attacks, like 
spells. You'll get a tiny spell that hits you and then all of a sudden a one-handed R1 from a longsword will stun you even though you had enough poise to, to take it out. So keep that in mind while creating your builds, guys. And uh, yes, I think that's it. I really just wanted you to learn the system so that you can better defend yourself when when I eventually come to kill you. <laughs> oh, good luck with that. If you find a mistake that I have done, or if you have any other insight into this, I suggest you leave a comment down below. I also suggest that you leave a comment saying absolutely nothing of value if you don't know what to say, because it helps boost the algorithm, and we are all whores in the name of YouTube. I also stream on Twitch, by the way, link will be in the description, so please check me out. I'll see you around.